Hey, this is Ken Posick with Keller Williams here in Orlando, Florida. And today we're talking about a new trend in new construction that it's affecting hundreds of thousands, if not millions of Americans' lives. Stay tuned. So it's no surprise that affordability here in Central Florida has become an issue. You've got income not keeping up with the pace of housing prices, which is causing a lot more people to rent. And that's actually why the rental market here is so strong. In fact, we have one of the strongest in terms of growth uh, rental markets out of the entire large and mid-level markets, which just means that if you continue to rent, your rent's just gonna keep going up. Where if you buy something, you actually have something a little bit more stable. The Pew Research Center did a study from 2009 to 2015 that talked about one-fifth of all Americans now live in a multi-generational house, meaning that they've got a grandchild all the way down to, a grandparent all the way down to a grandchild living with them. Enter Kehovenanian Homes. They've got this multi-generational product that has a separate suite, which is perfect for grandparents, grandchildren. It could also be something that you rent out. So today we're gonna to talk to Ellis Rowe with Kehove about their product and learn a little bit more about it. Let's go inside. Ellis, what's up, man? Good How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for coming out. Thanks. I appreciate you having us. So this is a little different. We've got like two different yeah. doors here. Let's talk a little bit about this. So right when you come up, you're going to see two separate entrances into the into this home. So the Marion has two distinct spaces. One is going to be for our multi-generational home, which we call the Extra Suite Plus. And then you've got your main front door entrance. So let's start by walking in the, uh, the Extra Suite here. Let's do it. So... As soon as you walk in, you're going to walk into a little living room. And this is yeah. probably the hallmark of what makes this a little bit different from some other multi-generational products in the market, is your own separate space. You've got your own private entrance, and you can really make this a TV room, an activity room, whatever you'd like for it to be. Um, in this specific instance, we've modeled this as kind of like granddad is living with you. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you can really make this whatever you'd like. Um, so this is a little different than like some of the other builders that offer the multi-master suite kind of product, right? Correct, correct. So talk a little bit about that. So this is it's totally different as we continue in you'll notice they have their own kitchen they have their own washer dryer it's really meant to be almost like a self-contained apartment mm. so that if they want to share the space communally they have that option house i love it we'll take a look at the rest of the sure. suite come on this way so as we continue on in this as we do it is going to be the kitchen area so washer dryer you've got your own little living a uh, little uh, fridge area here as well this is an option that we provide this space would just be empty standard but you can option in to do as much or as little bit of this and the thought here really is how do we make this affordable and accessible to buyers so they have the option to add as much as they'd like to into it and then right to your right you've got the washer and dryer set up yeah, right in here you've got your washer and dryer a little double stack let's take a look at that sure thing Oh yeah, so double stack, plenty of space if they for it to fit in there, very functional. Exactly. Yeah. It's just meant to be just, you know, it's it's not necessarily meant to replicate what's in the house, but just provide an extra. I love it. So this is the uh, bedroom with the ensuite, own little closet area, as well as their own little uh, separate bathroom here. I so. love this, fantastic. So, okay, so we're talking multi-generational, which yeah. I think is gonna be the ideal use for this. What about if someone wanted to rent this out to somebody else? Is that something that they could do? Certainly, so this bedroom, this house comes with four bedroom standards. So okay. this is just one of the bedrooms in the house. They can certainly rent it out given that they have their own private entrance. There's a couple other scenarios that we've envisioned for this. One is renting, one is grandfather. One could also be a live-in. So for if you had like a nurse or something like that that needed to stay with you for maintaining somebody, uh. that's another potential option for this it's really can be whatever you want it to be So I love the suite. So let's take a look at maybe the rest of the house. Sure thing. All right, come on. So tell us while we're walking through, what makes you guys different than some of the other builders that are offering a sort of similar product? So it's really, there's two distinct products that we're offering. This one is meant to be a little bit more on the affordable side of it called the Marion. Okay. And we're building this in almost every single community that has single family. We're mm -hmm. also building a slightly larger version of this that we're calling the Tobago out in the horizons west. So it's a nice. little bit more of an estate style house starts around 2,900 square feet, so it's a little bit larger. Yeah. Um, some other things is the large central common area, we really prioritize across all of our products, but specifically for this one, the open layout. Yeah. So there's really not a lot of dividing walls. You basically got your bedrooms around the outside, and then it's all common area. And good ceiling height too. This exactly. is fantastic. Um, another thing that we do is outdoor living space has become incredibly important. We're including the Lenai standard on this home. 
It's just the way the house happened to lay out. So you've got a built-in lanai that comes as just a part of the house. So it really gives a lot of spaces in addition to the common area where all the various members of the family can congregate and meet. I love it. Um, we've modeled it here with a home office. So this is actually a three bedroom house as the model shows, but it comes with a fourth standard. So this could be great for somebody working from home, could be a mom, could be a husband, could be even the grandparent or somebody living in the extra suite, the ability to run a small business from here as well. So there's flexibility to really customize the design to exactly what you want. And I think that that's probably the biggest thing is the spaces, the ceiling height, and the ability to customize the house even further, yeah. whatever your needs are. And it's different. I mean, I would feel like developers and architects have really gotten stuck in the box for so long, yeah. right? And so tell us a little bit about the buyer that are coming, like some of the, de the demands that they're asking for. Like obviously you did this out of almost necessity, right? Because I'm sure you guys heard it over and over. We wish we had this, we wish we had that. So tell us what are the buyers may be asking for along the way. This creates an affordability where you can split the rent a couple of different ways. That's huge. And that's been a huge driver to people who might not even be able to normally afford this house to suddenly have a whole new window to affordability. Yeah, well affordability has been key, right? So we've had this stagnation in, in actual uh, income, but the prices keep going up, right? So how they need to come up with an idea that sort of offsets some of these incomes. I said in the opener, there's actually 20%, the Pew Research study did this, it's an insane number, like one out of five people are living in a multi-generational house, which I would never would have thought that before I started doing some of this research. So are you, are you seeing more multi-generational people coming through that way or are they renting it out to say a local person? At this point, it's mostly multi-generational. Mm -hmm. So what we've seen in this community where we've modeled it, I think we're at like either 15 or 20% of all the houses sold are this model. Wow. So we're seeing a huge um, interest in this, both here and in some of the other neighboring communities that we're offering it in the Kissimmee area as well. But it, I think that as we get more into a more premium area like the Horizons West, once we get it there, I think that there might be more opportunity because we've seen a lot of people wanting to rent out a garage apartment. Mm -hmm. This is now another option to create that rental opportunity. So let's flip over to the kitchen and take a look over here. Sure. So we're talking a lot about how maybe the homeowner is having their parents come live with them, right? Mm -hmm. um, but what about the flip? What if it's like uh, an, an elderly person having their kids come live with them? That's absolutely a scenario we envision. We actually have an active adult community and we've decided that we wanted to put an act, uh, in that active adult community one of our multi-generational homes as well, the yeah. Tobago there. And the thought is aging in place becomes very important, especially as the cost of healthcare and maintaining you know, an elderly parent the idea of the child living with them becomes more and more appealing and the flip is true. It's all about affordability and it's all about spending more quality time with your family. So whether that's at the beginning of life with grandchildren or whether it's towards the end of life with just spending time with your parents and making sure that they're comfortable in their retirement, both are scenarios we think are gonna be big draws for Central Florida. I love it. Ellis, thanks for having us out. Absolutely, thank you for coming. So if you're looking for more information about multi-generational housing here in Central Florida, make sure you reach out. My number is 407-717-0197 or shoot me an email at ken at We'll talk to you soon.